So very, very pleased to have a very special guest on the show today. Somebody I've been wanting to get on the show for ages and ages and ages. It's Head Sheddy himself, Andrew Wilcox of the Shed of the Year competition. How are you doing, Wilco? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yes, not bad at all, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a long time coming, this, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't, you know, I think even before lockdown, we were, we were gonna we were, we were gonna have a chat, and that never happened. So it's yes, it, finally it, in 2024. That's it. It's good to finally sort it. And I know, you know, I mean, I, I I entered your competition probably during lockdown, or might have been the end of the last uh, end of the very last lockdown. The way I remember entering then, I know lots of our sort of pub shed and home bar community over the years have entered it as well and been involved in it and i think the first things first for the people who don't know about shed of the year which isn't many people i think a lot of people know about it already but tell us about where it all started it goes back some time doesn't it well yeah i set up the website in 2000 so you know 24 years ago and it was just a bit of fun basically i, I was uh, uh wanting to to find a great shed online because I was looking for one and I couldn't find one and I thought there's got to be a community out there and there was a couple of old forums and things so I thought well, I was a web developer so I thought I might as well create a website and that's you know that was running for a few years and then um, a few years later I, I thought well let's have a competition so this year is the 18th year I've been running the competition. It's, it's taken over most of my life basically. I was going to say that I bet, I bet it does take a bit of time to put together doesn't it? Yeah, but it's great, and it's, as you say, it's it's a great commun- community because like you got all the the pub sheddies, and we it's great to see them coming over to end the competition. But the weird and wonderful stuff I've seen over the years, and it's you know it's a great community of uh, of sh- sheddies from workshops to to you know the weird and wonderful. There's music studios, there's art studios, uh, obviously gardening workshops. There's just tons of, of different things. And I know that's that's something, you know, in particular with our sort of pub shed, you call it this sort of pub shed or home bar and entertainment section, don't you? But um, that's that's something that's kind of grown a lot more since lockdown, that side of things, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, a lot of people were either converting their, their, uh, their garden sheds into uh, pubs or garden offices. And I think it was 80% pubs over lockdown. So um, I don't know what that tells you. But, uh... <laughs> Everyone. And well, we 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 well we well know about people and, and pub sheds, so <laughs> that's it. And I think I think that side of things has sort of like continued to grow as well. And is it the first? So last year, is it the first year that you actually um sort of decided to have a different cat, have the categorization as well? So is it last year that it became kind of where there was a an entertainment section sort of thing? Well, um, it's the last couple of years. Is we did have a uh, at one point there was twelve categories. So it's just it's it's unworkable. So we've we've yeah we've merged a lot of them. Like one year we even had a TARDIS category. We had so many TARDIS sheds, entering, <laughs> but you just have to, you know that's all, that that'll have to go into unique. So you know we're lucky. I've been lucky the last ten year ten or so years. That, you know I've had a good supporter in Cooper and also they have a say in, in a couple of the categories. So um, but you know the the, the pub sheds is one of the the most um, popular categories i've put that particular uh category up there as well because i know that over the years a lot of our different uh pub shed uh, community members on instagram in particular and obviously there's lots on facebook and all that as well they've uh, all submitted theirs the one that i've, I've beat so th- this is currently displaying this year's entries i think so you've already got this year's entries up and underway haven't you yeah we we start uh, opened entry last week i think we've had a dozen new pub sheds added so yeah and it's um Hopefully, when the weather gets better, people will be um, they'll be out, uh, you know, sprucing up their sheds for entry. You know, we've got we're we're open until uh, the thirty first of May, so you have got plenty of time. That's it, and I mean, because that yeah, I can see uh, just one of them that you know on the first page when I opened it up. One of them in particular, uh, the Canary and Cockerel Pub Shed. Uh, we've uh, he came and visited this pub shed. We we're having lots of meetups and see you stuff now. Wilco, oh, we're, all, we're all meeting up and having organising pub crawls at different st- times of the year, and we visit each other's sheds and stuff like that. And yeah, Matt from the Canary and Cockerel Pub Shed visited not long ago as well. So it's pleasing to see that his entries in there. So if you've entered in in the past, is it a case that you submit each year? Uh, if you want to, yeah, obviously. Well, if you if you made any major changes, yeah, I I'm, I welcome you know, you know, other sheds. Like we've we've got a couple of guys who entered in 2010 who who want to enter again. 
So, you know, it's that sort of thing. You know, people are, you know, you know, they enjoy it. They enjoy the competition and they, they enjoy showing off their sheds, basically, I think. you know. And I think that's a good point as well, because it, although it's a competition, it, it isn't really just about that, is it? It's about that yeah. community thing. and It's about sharing yeah. what you've done. And yeah, most people go into it and they've, they've got no idea that they, they might do so well in the competition. But it is just about seeing other people's and and kind of, yeah, adding on to that community. Well, yeah. It's getting the ideas from because someone will do something completely different, and you, think, you know, when you when you've got some people who've who've got you know full setups and it's better than my local pub, and you think, God, I'm, you know, but it's taken them ten years to get to that point, you know. And there's so much, it's, you know, there's so much passion with it, and like any like not just the publishers, but they are they seem to be the guys who are putting, you know, the the effort in. They, you know, like you know, it's it's just it's brilliant, and. Uh, well, as it's the 18th year this year, it's you know, shed of the year is old enough to drink. So you know, I need, <laughs> yeah. to, visit, I, I need to visit some pub sheds. I think you know. I'm sh I'm sure you'll get plenty of invites uh, yeah. to to visit. So if you are ever in an area and you want to know if there's a pub shed to visit, put a message yeah. out on Instagram. And I'm sure there'll be somebody around. Uh, yeah. You'll easily find someone. Did you ever actually get a shed in the end? Then because obviously it started when you was looking for a shed. Did you manage to find yeah. one? Um, I'm in between sh uh, sheds at the moment, but at one point I had three sheds, so um, I was very lucky. But um, I I moved during lockdown, so um, I'm in between at the moment. But hopefully, I'm gonna. St but I'm, I'm ne I'll never find the perfect shed for me because I've seen all the everyone's perfect sheds, and I I just want a bit of it all really. I you know I want a mega shed which has got a library, a workshop, a, <laughs> yeah, a, um, a brewery. Yeah, fire station I, yeah <laughs> yeah well, especially the pole but that's another story but um you're looking for a mansion size shed i think is what you need yeah, and then a different room I, for each one or just get well, a guard yeah. buy a garden center you know with all the different sheds in the in the yeah. back and just do each different one good. yeah well a few years ago we were um uh shed was on was on channel four for four years and one of the years we uh, we went to a, um, a garden in london that had about 25 shed so we did filming from there and that was amazing you know it's just how the you know 20 years of someone's life building these all these um different types of sheds you know and you think you know, these people are doing you know like my passion came from my grandfather basically he had a uh one of the best allotment sheds i've ever seen and uh, and there was like four old fellas they go down there they'd be smoking their wood binds and they'd be um having their coffee but then they all they joined them all together so it was like something our et with all the you know the um <laughs> polythene poly poly um, tunnels but you know it was brilliant one would be, be growing this one be growing that and it was all it was that community thing and i remember as a kid and i think god i wish i could have shed like that you know but, it's, def um, it's definitely something that's come back isn't it because i think it is something that a lot of people used to do a lot more of and yeah. then kind of obviously pandemic really give it a kick as well and potentially even things like the cost of living it's brought it all back round again hasn't it yeah it has and um you know people are realizing that you know it's you know it's nice to get out of the house but if you can go down the bottom of the garden that's even better you know and just didn't exactly it's, it's, your, it's your own space you, you know you haven't, you haven't got the rules of the landlord or you know you know you can go on there for, on your own for a, for a quiet cup of tea or you can have your mates around you know it's brilliant it's, it's perfect brilliant um so i mean have you gotten it from over the all of these years that you've been running this, oh but actually before i ask that you mentioned the channel four thing that's amazing isn't it so you actually were on channel four weren't you yeah for four four series with the uh, george clark was fronting it it was a it was yep. they you know chandelier has been independent for, you know for well since it's been running but they were they had these amazing spaces show and they wanted to do a you know get us involved in that which was which was um i say yes it's just me i've been doing this all <laughs> it's like you know I, I see you know it's the whole shed of the earth the people but yeah it's just me basically and they and, wanted and they wanted just to you know get you know have some of those sheddies on tv and it was brilliant it was brilliant for the sheddies because it was showing you know, give them a, a wider audience and things like that but um yeah unfortunately that came to end but that was that was a that was an interesting four years. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, how much how much time did all that kind of stuff take as well? Did that become a pretty much full-time thing then as well? 
yeah, it, it, it did. You know, I, you know, a lot of his admin on my side, really. But um, yeah, no, it was it was great, and you know, visiting different sheds was was interesting. I was off camera ninety nine percent of the time, which has suited me. And um, but yeah, I was I was in the final judging, and uh, yeah, it, I really enjoyed it. And and they 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 didn't, you know, I thought oh they might take the Mickey or whatever, but no, they were brilliant. They appreciated what the Sheddies were doing, and you know, okay, they like more eccentric ones, but you know, that's good. That's what TV is, isn't it? You know, exactly. But, yeah, you know, I, I'd like you know, even with like the you know the YouTube and everything now, I, I you know, I think there is room for more sheds on the TV. I think, and uh, definitely one year, hopefully one year, someone will come knocking again. That's it. Um, and I mean, obviously, the other good thing as well is that, you know, since those days, like the sort of like, you know, the rise of people doing the blogging and, uh, you know, like even like I said, the podcasting and stuff like that is helping them to get more attention as well. And people are kind of building those communities and seeing it in that way as well, aren't they? Which has been great. Yeah. You know, like I've, I've had a podcast planned for 10 years and I've never got wrong to it. <laughs> so, um, you know, my problem is, I'm, you know, I just, yeah, I'll do that. And then something else will come up and, you know, I even bought domain names. I did logos and everything, and I never got around to it. Uh, that's, everyone, that's... Else, everyone else does it better, so I'm, you know. Well, I can imagine how much time the actual, you know, the admin side of Shed of the Year mm -hmm. takes up and the website that you run as well, which, like I said before, is just a, an amazing, like, it's basically a huge catalogue into of all the different sheds that have been there and entered over the years, and it's it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'll put one up, which is last year's winner. So tell us about uh, last year's winner of the overall competition, because obviously you had different categories, but this was the winner of the the overall yeah, competition, um, the Franken Shed. Yeah, Archie's and he's a sign writer and artist by trade, but he had a his, his shed was falling apart. So during during lockdown, he he he, he shored it up, put new um. Uh, sidings on, put a brand new roof, and then uh, created a new window. And then he decided that he's going to work in it. He uses it for sketching and stuff like that, and a bit of gardening. So, as he's, you know, he wanted to show off his work. So he's he spent months and months and months hand painting everything, and it's stunning. And you know, it's very different. And it, this is what, um, you know, I think that's what caught our eye. Is just he's totally. You know, and he's 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 a he's he's a great bloke, funny bloke, and um, but he just it's the stunning work, and you can't see it in that photo, but on the window it's all gilded of all all the tools he used to to create the shed, and it's the little details he's put in. I think that's what that, that's what caught our eye and everything like that. So, but you know, it's nice to be. You know, I love those creative ones, but maybe this year it is the year of the pub shed. You know, that's hopefully. it. <laughs> exactly and obviously we we have our own judges on this show but they judge song requests in our song request courtroom and today we chose sheds as our theme so we've had loads of suggestions i know you suggested an actual shed song itself as well yeah. um yeah. But we, we've had loads of different ones, like we've had Shed Ringer for Love, for example, which is coming up a bit later on. Can't Get You Out of My Shed by Kylie Minogue. All sorts of different things. And we've got a judge who does all that bit later. So speaking of judging, uh, as the head judge, what kind of thoughts do you have? What What is it in your mind, the sort of things that you're looking for? What sort of uh, things help you when it comes to the judging process and how you mark and score things? Well, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, we have hundreds and hundreds of entries, you know, and... So the first thing, if it catches my eye, first of all, I think, oh, that's interesting. Um, you know, if it's fancy or not, it's fine. But if it, if the if it's been built, you know, from scratch, I like that. That's the best. If you can see, like, we've got one guy who's in the entered a couple of years ago, and he put like two hundred and fifty photos up, and it was every stage of the build and everything like that. That's that's great. But, but then sometimes you think you should have done a video, mate. But you know. Um, <laughs> But um, you know, it's 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 the it's the passion of right. Someone's doing this. That they've either planned it out or like they haven't got a clue what they're doing, and they just put it on a napkin and, and they've you know watched YouTube videos and and that that they're my favourite sort of sheds. And then it gets, then it gets to the point when once you've got your shell and you've you built all that, make sure it's insulated and you know it's watertight. You get get electricity down there if you can. And um, next thing is then what you're going to do inside. And that's, if you've got a blank canvas, you, th you think it's all the imagination then of the shed, isn't it? You know, like yeah. I love a workshop shed. You know, I love 
where people are creating something in their sheds. But nowadays, you're creating something in your shed. You may, you're not physically making something, but you are. Right? So this is the thing, the criteria will, will change, you know. That's you know, it. As I said, I've been doing this so long now, it's like the, what is a shed question I get asked, and well, I have no idea anymore. It's what, <laughs> what a shed he makes it, really, you know. That's it. So, are there uh, are there are there particular are, are there some guidelines though? So, like obviously, sheds uh, by sort of tradition used to be sort of wood built, didn't they? But have yeah. you are you a little bit more open these days to more stone yeah, sort of things? Or? Yeah. Well, we've had a few. You know, as long as there's a bit of wood in there somewhere, you know, and <laughs> it's quite. Much. But it, again, if it's someone's built a stone shed like a, a bothy or something, yeah, from scratch, you know, you you got to give that a look. You know, it's because it's, it's still a shed. It's still being used as a shed. So, yeah, it's, it's I'm so open on the definition. It's unbelievable. It's, you know, I, I do get the odd email saying, oh, no, 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 no. Like even a few years ago, we had a category called not a shed, just to placate people who were, other, you know, angry people sending me emails going, no, no, no. And I think, mate, it's a competition. It's a bit of fun. You know, even though I take it very seriously, but, it's you know and, and the sheddies do but in yeah. the end you know it's just it's just showing what the british public can do uh, and for good basically and that's the great thing about it i mean i've had so many people i mean and, and I'm, i imagine it might have been the same for you but so many people who have commented uh and or said things to me that you know the actual community that that sort of pub shed people or you know home bar people or and you know it, I imagine extending out that, you know, to just sheddies in general, the community that it's created has actually helped a lot of people as well through some quite difficult times, even not just because of the pandemic, but, you know, even more personal things to different people as well. It's helped a lot of people as well. Yeah. I've, I've heard yeah, good stories about, you know, people, you know, well, whatever is happening in their lives, they've got this, you know, somewhere to go and just chill out for a bit and uh, just, you know, try and put things in perspective and, you know, maybe have a nice time in the shed as well, you know. You know, even like when I used to have three sheds, I used to um, just go and sit and read in one of them, which is quite, I, you know, I'd had a radio. I used to have a wind-up radio, though. It was many, many years ago when I first started this. Trevor Bayliss, the wind-up radio guy, maybe before your time, he um, he, gave, he sent me one of his radio, like a, a, a prototype, one of the old prototype ones, and I just sat, used to sit in there, and I, after 15 minutes, it'd be slowing down and you have to wind her up a bit with a name. <laughs> but that was just, you know, and that was invented in a shed. And this is the thing, there's still those innovators out there. You know, so like we get a lot of uh, guys doing 3D printing and things like that now. So, but, okay, it's the next level of someone with hammering and uh, nailing to the, into a bit of wood or a bit of sawing. But it's, you know, the, the, the makers, you know, like you've got, say you've got your pub shed community there's a community of, of makers who are creating amazing stuff in a shed so you know hopefully shed it brings all those people together i, I certainly i certainly think it does and like i say i've seen so many people from our community who enter it and you know like to share their shed via it and things like that so yeah anyone who's listening there please you know do enter before before we ask about the ent entering process and put that up on screen just for you to remind everyone uh is i know obviously we've got our winners and we've, we've you can go through the site and look at the winners previously but is there any shed that stands out in particular from all your time doing it is and there'll probably be loads but have you got one in particular that you can remember for whatever unique reason it might be yeah it was the, f the first ever winner in 2007 and it was a roman temple shed wow. and it was a normal shed but he spent all his time uh the guy was tony he's no longer with us unfortunately and uh, but he um he just created this roman temple and i was thinking right this is the maddest shed i've ever seen this is the first year i was winning the competition this is it's, it can't get any any madder than this <laughs> right you know and it hasn't really there's been really you know, we've had a couple of galleons and things like that and some really odd we had one which he was building legs so we could walk around the garden we've had one which made out a wicker but the original the roman temple shed is still my favorite shed and you know that's 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 18 years ago and um that's, amazing that's, that's what's scary really you think you know I, I was reasonably young when I started this. <laughs> <laughs> the competitions, uh, I don't think it's aged yet, Wilco. I think, I oh, think you're still young yeah. at art. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope so. 
Um, the, the, speaking of unique sheds as well, I don't know if they ever entered the competition, but I remember a few years ago seeing a guy pulling out the shed and he had like a home bar and he just sort of pulled it out on like wheels. It came out of like a, an internal shell. Have you seen that one before? Yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen that. And I've got, there's another one, which is a small shed, but it's it's cut into two and it's a whole, it's like a cantilever uh, door, but really it's, it, it can turn, turns into, you know, two, two bars and you think, you know, people are, are, are geniuses, you know, <laughs> well, they, you know, especially with a small space. But yeah, it's, yeah, I've seen, you know, I've seen, I've seen things that you will never believe in the shed world. <laughs> Well, make sure everybody checks out the, uh, you know, the Shed of the Year uh, website. Obviously, that's Reader Sheds. Uh, and obviously, you can see all the sort of previous winners and entries and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm sure some, like, YouTube clips are still about as well, aren't they, from the Channel 4 days as well? Yeah, they're, they're around there. And for some reason, it disappeared uh, from their, their thing. But apparently, it's on, a, it's on some free TV channel in America at the moment. So I'm getting quite a lot of people searching for that and from, the, from America. So it's been in, on in South Africa, it's been in New Zealand. So so it is repeated around the world, but not in this country. But uh, Well, I, that's, and the other again, thing to, on that, sheds, in terms of, you know, sheds are growing across the world as well. It's yeah. not always been a thing in other countries um, because, I mean, a lot of, you know, especially in the hotter countries, they're used to kind of having outdoor bars and stuff like that anyway and things like that. But, you know, the term, the term pub shed, I know, has been growing across the sort of different parts of the world as well. And people are actually using the word shed, which hasn't really been used as much as it outside of the UK. No, no it's, um, yeah, you know, I, I think the last, you know, five or six years I've seen a lot, you know, like the competition's open to UK and Ireland, but we do accept international sheds because, we, you know, we can't, you know, and uh, hopefully this year we'll have some sort of, you know, competition for them as well. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, That's it. Well, I know. Find, it's just I... trying to find a sponsor for international sheds and you think it's, you know. It's... That's it. Well, I mean, I, I know that uh, we have a lot of uh, international sheddies who listen, so you know, feel free to send the, you know send them through anyway, because it's like I say, it's more yeah. just a direct a director in it. We want to be able to to see well, and show yeah. them off. So yeah, you know, there's, like, there's thousands and thousands of sheds on there, you know, it'll, it'll be you know nearly four and a half thousand at some point this year, I think. And that's as you said, it's an archive. It's an archive of 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 the lot of the lot of twenty the last twenty years of twenty odd years of of you know my love of sheds. So. You know, whatever happens, hopefully, you know, in hundred years' time, it'll, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll still, well, it'll be there in some sort of, uh, you know, museum, uh, an online yeah. museum. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. We've had, I, I enjoy the museum sheds. We've had quite, yeah. uh, quite a few, you know, coin ops museums. And we've got one guy's, uh, he's got about thirty toilet Victorian toilets in his sheds, and yes, yeah, so we, I quite enjoy that side, not you know, the eccentric side of the. Of, of the shed world because there's always there's always an interesting story behind every shed brilliant uh one thing we did get uh, i did i did kind of put out there you know for people to ask questions and stuff like that uh somebody said um uh, well i think it was the taylor tavern actually he said have you have you ever have you ever had, had chance yet to have an actual beer in a in anyone's pub shed yeah uh in the early days i used to i used to go to uh quite a lot of the uh, semi-finalists pub sheds <laughs> but um yeah, I'm. Uh, the last one I was at was I was down in when we were filming in London. I went on uh, one of the previous winners. They make gin in their shed. Oh, okay. I went to her, his sister's shed in London, and I had the the gin there that he makes in his shed in Scotland. So yeah, it's you know it's quite um. You know, I visited you know a few of them I visited over the years and managed to like stay until midnight and then oh oh you can stay on the sofa so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I hope this year, hopefully this year because i've said it's the 18th year i want to do something to celebrate yeah. it so you know i may have to look at the map and see you know that's you it know, well I live, I live in south wales so there's got to be you know, within four hours of South Wales, I think. Oh, I know we've got the Tiki Bar Neef in South Wales, and there is, oh, what's the other one? There's one in Newport as well, the Slug, the Slug Inn, I think they call it. So there's there's a few, there's definitely a few on our radar that way, and obviously there'll be plenty more, you know, on the Facebook community and stuff like that as well. So there we yeah, go. We'll I'll, get... I'll, I'll keep an eye out as well. 
That's it. Uh, so just to finish with then, let's just talk about obviously the entry process. So yeah, do you want to tell us a bit about that and obviously what the what the prizes are for those people who are lucky enough to win as well? Yeah, well, it's a thousand pound cash from uh, a sponsor, Coupenol, two hundred and fifty uh, pounds worth of uh, their products, and the the winning shed gets a plaque to put um, in the shed or on the shed. So um, yeah, you've got until the thirty first of May to enter. It's normally midnight, but it depends depends if we're going to bed early and um, then you can just put the information about the shed I put as much details as you want uh, minimum six images but as I said there's no limit to the images I'll probably if if I'm like the look in the look of the shed I will email the shed and say come on you've got more you know send more than that so send more images than that you know like you know I, I i enjoy interacting with the with the sheddies then because you know, they tell they will they reply and they'll tell you a little bit more about the shed and about the history and you think you know that's i enjoy that because they say oh that is my dad started to build a shed and it didn't yeah and all that sort of stories and things like that and you think yeah it's always you know when someone just puts up we use it for uh, family parties and that's it you think well no come on give us more story than, you know than that but um but I, i'm we've we've had a um i think nearly 25 entries it's only been open since saturday so um yeah it's incredible but, already yeah but again I'm, I'm gagging to open it every year i'm like it's like from when it closes to to when it opens it's like yeah oh come on i just you know. <laughs> you let yourself have christmas off then though don't you well yeah well i, I don't know I'm always on the, there's always people sending me stuff you know constantly but, i can uh, imagine yeah. um but thank thank you for all the incredible work you put into this because it is brilliant like i said it is the place to to go and just have a look for inspiration and you know to for people to share their own sheds and the pub sheds as well and things like that but thank you for, for coming on and chatting with us and thanks for everything that you put into this competition well thanks thanks for being here, being here. No problem. Cheers, Wilco. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll catch up again at some point in the future. Yeah, yeah maybe I'll pop in. Yeah, definitely do.